Hello viewers, Bo here with another Kona Super Fantastic Days video and we are taking a first look at the Running Water Jaws boss aka the shark boss of um, this week's new event and uh, I was fortunate enough to pull um, to pull the aqua after uh, <laughs> what is it like 10 or 11 10 pulls something like that but yeah, we have her, and uh, I think she puts in a decent amount of work on this boss, actually. Uh, if not like uh, by herself, but enabling her party members to do more damage. I also have the 4-star Mitsurugi, and uh, he's there to do good lightning damage and to hit hard with his ultimate. Melissa is Melissa, and she is awesome. Uh, in the back, I have the 4-star Iris and 4-star Dust. But, uh, in, I, I have three runs in here, and they're all one-shots, back-to-back-to-back, which is really awesome. And I think they are they all, like, end, uh, like, with one second left. But, uh, in, in all of these runs, um, the backline is, uh, is never seen. I think this boss doesn't hit nearly as hard as the, uh, the Kraken boss, or at least the hard mode version doesn't. And so he's not, um, well, because he's not busy sending my uh, units to the Shadow Realm, I'm able to send him to the Shadow Realm uh, with, in combination with um, Mitsu's heals and Aqua's heals, Mitsu's defense up. My guys are going to stay on the field for a long time. Uh, yeah, since recording this video though, I have leveled up my Dust in the back and I think he's a better uh, frontliner than the Mitsu is because he has a agility down which is basically lowering the DPS overall DPS of the boss and he has a moderate defense down on the boss so basically he can apply defense down and then once that wears off Melissa can apply defense down with her ulti and you know it's just a repeating cycle Aqua's there charging both their ults um, Dust's ult is just a single target nuke, I believe, which is not too bad. Same thing as Mitsurugi's ult. But yeah, I think overall Dust will probably, the 4-star Dust variety, will probably be better than the Mitsu here. Um, yeah, so these runs, uh, I'm not gonna lie, are a little bit crit heavy. So th that could play a role into why I was able to one-shot them. But I think as uh, affinities improve or weapons improve, um, I think the one-shot should be uh, fairly consistent or even more consistent than what's shown in this video. And uh, I, I do think the Dust uh, has will probably have more damage output with the defense down, you know, enabling all the other party members to deal more damage as well. And here we have the third run. It's uh, much of the same. I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy able to one-shot this boss, you know, kind of getting to the arena reward, not the arena, the uh, event shop rewards a little bit faster, which is uh, always nice. And hopefully being able to clear out this, um, this shop. Uh, of course, things to look out in this shop include all the Leah skill potions, even if you're not using her, might as well clear them out right now because we're able to max her out, might as well do it. All the tokens, especially the Axis token, the, the 10 Eris tokens, um, any weapon upgrade materials, I'm gonna clean those out for sure. And then, and then maybe some weapon, actually the weapons in the shop I, that I looked over didn't seem anything remarkable. Maybe uh, some, some of the amulets might be uh, worth looking at. Uh, I'll take a double look at that. But for me, my main priorities right now are the skill potions, um, the medals, and the weapon upgrade materials. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to showcase what my team was capable of doing on, on day one, which is really awesome. And uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a very nice day.